there was a time, there was a time, I lived through it, when there was no, effectively, effectively, no gun crime in Britain. No, I'm in Manchester, right? No gun crime. Can you imagine it? No gun crime. No knife crime. Britain was effectively, effectively in Britain, there was no violence on the street or in public places. Of course, there's always been gangsters fighting each other, there, but they kept it to their own little, you know, underneath the stones, whatever those, wherever they come from, right? You didn't get it in the public. You didn't get it in public. You travel on public transport any time of the day or night, and you, you, you know, you felt perfectly safe. That was then. No gun crime, no knife crime. Now, in our capital, and of course if it happens in the capital, it's going to happen in all the other major cities, as I know it does. In our capital, every day, this is the London Evening Stand that I'm going to show you here, every day, five teenagers are shot or stabbed. Every day. Not always fatally, but five teenagers are shot or st stabbed Every day, yesterday, today, tomorrow, it just goes on and on and on. Nobody wants, nobody wants to be stabbed. No one wants their son or or grandson stabbed. But that's what that's what our capital is. Five teenagers. Yeah, these are kids, kids, eighteen-year-olds stabbed. This is the teenagers. I'm not talking about the twenty-year-olds or thirty-year-olds who shoot each other up with bloody machine guns. No, these are just teenagers, boys in school, actually, a lot of them. What has gone... The question, look, we're in politics here. We have all given up our evening to focus on politics. This country has a political problem. Lib Lab and Con have gone rotten. The problems are political. So what has gone wrong with the law and order situation? Why was it so good then and so bad now and getting worse every day? The politicians... In thir we've had 30 years, 30 years of politicians, makes no difference, Labour politicians, makes no difference, Tory politicians, Labour Home Secretaries, Tory Home Secretaries, for, for the 30 years with their soft on crime, soft on criminals. 30 years, non-stop, 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 until now the criminals have taken over and society is collapsing. Um, I'd like now, with your indulgence, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to focus on one individual. I'm going to focus on a Labour MP. You should get used to these MPs. You know, when you see them on television with their expensive suits, expensive hairdos, expensive claims and all that. Well, I won't go into expenses claimed, but I mean, I'm a small beer in my opinion. When you see these MPs suited and booted, oh, they're so confident, yes. Expensive suits. If they're Labour MPs in English constituencies, you want to go find out what constituency do they represent? Because it's probably a hellhole, a, 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 a hellhole, a hellhole. Um, I'm going to focus on a woman MP who has taken it upon herself in recent months to aggressively and publicly attack our party, and I'm going to focus on her constituency because I know the constituency very, very well, because I live in South London. And I'm going to focus on Harriet Harman, who is the deputy leader of the Labour Party, the number two in the Labour Party. She represents Peckham. Now, Peckham in South London was once a very attractive suburb. You know, one would like to have lived in it. That was a very attractive suburb, and one would like to have lived in it. I'm now going to give you some facts, and all the facts. I'm going to wave some newspapers around, because everything I say... Is true. And I dot the I's and cross the T's. I sometimes say to myself, Richard, have you got this out of proportion? Have you, you know, are you missing a factor here? And I go through my head and go through my head. I'll give you four facts, four crimes. A 16 year old boy was having some sort of meal in a McDonald's in a suburb called Kennington. Kennington is in South London, just across the River Thames from the House of Commons. It's literally, if you could throw a stone across the River Thames from the House of Commons, it land in Kennington, and he was in McDonald's Kennington one evening with some friends and mates, age 16. Some youths walked into McDonald's, there was a row, and they shot him dead. In McDonald's, in Kennington, just across the river from the, river, from the House of Commons. 
A week later, a week later, in Streatham, which is another area in South London, um, there's an ice rink. Streatham used to be a very smart suburb, very smart suburb. And sometime in the 1930s, they built an ice rink there so that young people could go sk ice skating and socialise and meet each other. And it was, a, you know, a nice place to meet. A week after the boy was shot dead in the McDonald's, 40, 40 youths stormed the ice rink and started robbing everybody in sight. And a 16-year-old boy refused to hand over his money and his mobile phone. So in the ice rink, he was shot dead. In the, in the ice rink. Here you are. Here's our little paper. This is our regional paper, the South London Press. Killers at the ice rink. An ice rink. And uh, a 16-year-old boy, wouldn't hand his money over, shot dead. In the next week, in the next week, a 15-year-old African boy in Peckham, we're talking Peckham, so we're talking African boys, a 15-year-old African boy had just gone upstairs to bed, it was the evening, late evening, gone upstairs to bed, two youths burst into the front room, in, into the front door, ran up the stairs, pulled out a gun and shot a 15-year-old African boy dead as he, as he you know, lay there looking at them, blew his brains across the bedroom. That was a 15-year-old boy. Um, here is again our South London press, um, with a black front page talking about three killed in their prime. Um, they talk about the African boy, Michael Dasumu, age 15. They talk about the boy who was uh, shot dead at the ice rink, um, James Andrew Smart Ford, age 16. Um, they talk about someone called Havery Crichton, age 21. I've never focused on, because he's 21, I didn't focus. I'm only focusing on teenagers here. Um, so there's three. That's three. Um, the boy shot dead in McDonald's. The boy shot dead in the ice rink. The African boy shot dead in his bed in Peckham. And before the month was out, a 16-year-old mixed-race boy was walking through Brixton High Street, <coughs> bumped into some ewes, they pulled out a gun, shot him dead.